हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एनएसपी लर्निंग हब बिकॉज़ लर्निंग इज लाइफ आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इंटर कन्वर्जन ऑफ स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर सॉलिड कैन चेंज इनटू लिक्विड स्टेट एंड लिक्विड कैन चेंज इनटू गैसेस स्टेट बाय इंक्रीजिंग टेंपरेचर और प्रेशर सॉलिड कैन चेंज इनटू लिक्विड स्टेट द दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड मेल्टिंग और फ्यूजन बाय इंक्रीजिंग टेंपरेचर and liquid can change into gases formed by increasing temperature this process is called vaporization or boiling gas directly change into solid state this process is called deposition and solid directly change into gases without changing in the liquid state is called sublimation gas on cooling change into liquid state this process is called condensation and liquid on freezing change into solid this process is called solidification of the solid the three states of matter differ with respect to interparticle space only one state of the substance can be converted into the other by changing the interparticle spaces and also by the interparticle attraction force students fusion or melting the conversion of solid state into liquid state is called fusion when ice change into water this process is called melting this is because of increasing of temperature solidification or freezing the conversion of liquid state into solid state is called solidification or freezing for example when water change into ice on freezing decreasing temperature by decreasing temperature is called solidification vaporization or boiling the conversion of a liquid state into gaseous state is called vaporization or boiling when water change into vapor on increasing temperature is called vaporization or boiling condensation the conversion of the gaseous state into liquid state when gaseous state means water vapor change into water by cooling this process is called condensation sublimation conversion of solid state into gaseous state without changing into liquid state is called sublimation when solid carbon dioxide change into gaseous carbon dioxide this process is called sublimation deposition the conversion of gaseous state into solid state without changing into liquid state no intermediate liquid state is here is called deposition for example carbon dioxide in gaseous state when change into dry ice or solid carbon dioxide this process is called deposition reaction now is turns for the question Question number 1 naphthalene balls disappear with time without leaving any solid give reason due to sublimation naphthalene balls converting into naphthalene vapors slowly even at room temperature which gas is called dry ice and why carbon dioxide gas in the solid state is called dry ice dry ice is converted directly into gases carbon dioxide without changing into liquid state due to sublimation reaction for any substance why does temperature remain constant during change of state this is due to the presence of latent heat or heat in the substance students what is latent heat on heating a solid to liquid it means fusion or liquid to gas evaporation the heat energy is used up to overcome the force of attraction of particles without showing any change in temperature it means at this time the temperature is constant since this heat energy is hidden in the bulk of matter it is called the latent heat it is of two types the latent heat of fusion and the latent heat of vaporization this is the chart of conversion of the temperature and heat energy applied when ice change into water on melting sometimes the temperature is constant it is called latent heat of fusion 
Similarly, when water change into steam by the process of vaporization, sometimes the temperature remain constant and it is called the latent heat of vaporization. Latent heat of fusion. The amount of heat energy needed to convert 1 kilogram solid into liquid state at the atmospheric pressure at its melting point is called latent heat of fusion. This is the latent heat of fusion. Latent heat of vaporization. The amount of heat energy needed to convert 1 liter of water into vapors at its boiling point is called latent heat of vaporization. This is the latent heat of vaporization. It's times for question answer. Why is ice at 273 Kelvin more effective in cooling than water at the same temperature? At 273 Kelvin, ice can absorb more amount of heat than water due to its latent heat of fusion. Hence, ice at 273 Kelvin can cause more cooling than water at the same temperature. What produces more several buns, boiling water or steam? Steam has more latent heat stored in it. Then water at the same temperature due to latent heat of vaporization. Hence, steam will produce more several buns than so boiling water. Atmospheric pressure. The pressure of air in atmosphere is known as atmospheric pressure. At sea level, at atmospheric pressure is one atmosphere, which is called normal atmospheric pressure. It means what? 1 atmosphere equal to 1.01 into 10 to the power 5 pascals. Kelvin. Kelvin is the SI unit of temperature. 0 degree centigrade equal to 273.16 Kelvin. Temperature in Kelvin can be changed into Celsius by adding 273. And temperature in centigrade will change into temperature in Kelvin by subtracting 273. For example, convert the 470K to the Celsius scale. Temperature in Kelvin equal to 470K minus 273. It means it is 197 degree Celsius. Convert the 25 degree centigrade to the Kelvin scale. Temperature in Kelvin equal to 25 degree centigrade plus 273. It means it is 298 degree 98 Kelvin. 